Good morning. How to fill out Form 944 for 2020 Employers Annual Federal Tax Return? Part 4 and 5 will be addressed in this video. And Part 4 and 5 are on page 3 of Form 944 for 2020. And you'll make sure you have your name and your business identification number on the top of part three, on the top of the page part three. On the page three, you'll have your name and your business identification number on top of the page three. And part four, do you want anyone to discuss the matter of this form 944 with IRS. If that's yes, you put the person's name and phone number in a pin in part four. So you check the boss and you put those information there. But if that's no, you check the boss no and you move to part five. Part five, sign here. So who must sign Form 944? Before we talk about who is going to sign, assuming, so pretty much who is going to sign is going to print his or her name. Under print your name here, you type your name in that box. You put your business title and your business phone number. And after you print the form 944 out, you will sign it and you will date it. So who must sign form 944? If you are a sole proprietor, that's you, the owner of the business. If you are an NLC, let's just read it here. A corporation, including a limited liability company, LLC, treated as a corporation, that will be the president or the vice president or other principal officer duly authorized to sign. If that's a partnership, including an LLC, treated as a partnership or an incorporated organization, a responsible or duly authorized partner or member or officer having knowledge of the, your business affair will sign. If your business is thus a single member LLC treated as a disregarded entity for federal income tax purposes, the owner of the LLC or a principal officer duly authorized to sign. And if that's a trust or a state, that will be the fiduciary. So form 944, let's go down a little bit. Form 944 may be signed by a duly authorized agent of the taxpayer if a valid power of Antony have been filed. Then they have alternative signature method. So corporate officers or dual authorized agent may file, may sign form 944 by rubber stamp, mechanical device or computer software program for detail and required documentation. See, you know, the link there that you click on you will have um you'll go to their publication that will address that will go deep into the type of alternative signature that is allowed but other than that you print it out and you sign so Pay preparer use only. So below part five, you have pay preparer use only. So if you 
uh, paid to fill out this form 5944 and you are not an employee of the business you are filing the form for, you'll put your preparer's name, your firm's name, like your business name, your business address and city and state, your P10. If you are a self employee, you check the boss of self employee, otherwise, you leave a blank. Your P10, and remember, you, you have to. Uh, renew your P10 before you file a tax return and get paid for it. And you ask your business EIN number, your business phone number, and remember the zip code, the address zip code goes all the way here. You add the address zip code and you print the form out and you sign it and date it. Then you give a copy to the business owner in addition to the copy that in addition to the copy that will be filed to the IRS or mailed to the IRS. But if like in my case I'm filing this form 944 for our business and I'm an employee of the business therefore I will not put my um prep my name and my p10 i will not put that under uh this session i'm paid by i'm an employee of the business therefore i will not fill out this pay prepare prepare session i will just fill out this form but if i was doing it for another business of us well i will still not fill out this form because any other business of us i'm working in it and will be paid by that business so i will not but if you are doing it for a client and you are getting paid and you are not an employee of that business then you will put your preparers information your name your um, your task firm our uh, uh, name your task firm address city state zip code and your p10 your Task firm, EIN number, phone number, and if you are self employed, you put you check the boss of self employed. Employed, and we have an NLC. That is now required to file this this form but file other form and this um uh, liberal consulting file the form file the tax return for that business and that business pay liberal consulting for filing that form therefore i put my preparers information in the pay preparer session because it's one business filing for that the other business and and that business is not really i'm not really an employee of that business i don't know if that makes sense but We might discuss that in another video when we are addressing those type of forms. But in this session where I'm filing this form for this business, I will not put my information here. So let's just leave it there so that I don't confuse you more than I have done it. So remember, you put your information, you the business owner's name, your title, your phone number, 
and when you print the form out you sign it and you did it and what I like to do is when you sign it you did it you make a copy for the business and you put the original one that you sign in the envelope that is waiting to be sent to IRS and let's see if the address uh, the ink that will be used if it's not addressed black might just work so they have not really addressed the ink to use uh, that's all we will cover in this session of form 944 part 4 and part 5 thank you so much for watching our videos thank you for listening to our podcasts and thank you for all your comments we thank you very much you all that subscribe to our channel i'm afiavi ojune libreman creators of libron consulting llc youtube channel libron consulting llc podcast ninasoap.com our blog and we do have our online stores natural product store ninasoap.com custom apparel store liberlabel.com retail store liberoutlet.com and digital product store liberdownload.com thank you